Today in the world of cannabis, Ontario, Canada welcomes visitors from Neptune, while in the U.S., Nebraska advocates start a new cannabis ballot initiative, and the West Virginia government gets a cannabis software update. It's Friday, October 30th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, PR Newswire reports that Neptune Wellness Solutions has reached an agreement with the Ontario Cannabis Store, or OCS, for the recreational sale of Neptune's Mood Ring product line, which will include high CBD oil, CBD capsules, and hashish. OCS is the only online retailer for recreational cannabis in the nation, and Ontario makes up Canada's largest adult-use cannabis market. In addition to the company's presence in the British Columbia market, Neptune's reach has increased to 515 Canadian retailers. This is yet another landmark moment in the cannabis movement and will allow Neptune to bring the Mood Ring brand affordable, sustainable, and premium cannabis products to the millions of people who live in that province, said Michael Camarada, Chief Executive Officer and President of Neptune. And next, in a report by Gondrepreneur, the advocacy group Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana, NMM, has begun a new medical cannabis advocacy campaign for the 2022 midterm election cycle. This comes after the Nebraska Supreme Court struck down the group's 2020 initiative in September. What's the difference in this new ballot initiative? Less words. After the court rejected the first initiative for claiming it covered issues beyond cannabis legalization, the new version is boiled down to a single sentence. Persons in the state of Nebraska shall have the right to cannabis in all of its forms for medical purposes. Families with loved ones suffering from conditions like epilepsy, PTSD, Parkinson's, and cancer have fought for years to make medical cannabis safely accessible in our state, as it is in 33 other states, said Senator Anna Wishart in a press release. This year, over 190,000 Nebraskans successfully petitioned our government during a pandemic for that right. We will not give up and intend to bring this fight into legislation in January with a bill that I will introduce and to the ballot in 2022. Last up, in a report by cannabis industry journal Metric, a software company specializing in seed-to-sale cannabis tracking has obtained a contract to expand its U.S. reach into West Virginia. According to a press release including the West Virginia Department of Health and Human Resources, Bureau for Public Health, and Office of Medical Cannabis, or OMC, the state's traceability program will, quote, help OMC regulators ensure no illicit cannabis products are sold in the medical cannabis market, and also that no illegal medical cannabis products are sold unlawfully. This is an important step to make certain medical cannabis is available only to West Virginians with serious medical conditions to prevent diversion of products in West Virginia, says OMC director Jason Frame. While the COVID-19 pandemic has put many industries across the nation on hold, we're proud to say that it has not stopped West Virginia from meeting its deadlines and laying the groundwork for a safe, regulated medical cannabis market. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, The High Ground, or Careers in Cannabis, wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm RJ Balde. And I'm Devin Leal. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.